Hi everybody! This past Wednesday, Joe and I went to the Scotch Whiskey Experience to learn about and taste the local Scottish favorite. We went with the Silver Tour so each of us could taste one type of whiskey and then share. The tour begins with a barrel ride led by the ghost of Douglas McIntyre, an old distillery manager. No smell that. That, my friends, is the sweet smell of malted barley being dried here in the kiln. Oh, you might say it's um, it's a white bread. We found it to be entertaining and educational on the distillery process from start to finish. Afterwards, we were able to get hands-on in the process by feeling and smelling the barley throughout the different steps of the distillery process. What do you think of the tour so far? It's great. Great? That's what we like to hear! <laughs> We received a scratch and sniff card before entering a presentation room to learn about the different types of scotch throughout Scotland. Each area creates scotch with its own unique scent and taste. The Lowlands Scotch Whiskey are known for their citrus elements. The Highlands are known for creating scotch with vanilla and floral notes. Speyside, an area within the Highlands, has tones of tropical fruits like bananas and pears. Isla, an island off the southwest coast of Scotland, has a strong smoky element from burning peat during the distillery process. After learning about the areas, we could smell our cards to get a better idea of the flavors and select which scotch we'd like to try, although Joe chose for me. He started with the local scotch from the Lowlands, and I began with a scotch from Speyside. Both were recommended for beginners. In the tasting room, which houses the world's largest private collection of Scotch whiskey, we finally got to drink. It turned out that Scotch tasting is very similar to wine tasting, where you look, swirl, sniff, and finally taste the Scotch. As a bonus, we got to keep the glasses. Watch my icky medicine head shake. It was amazing to taste the scotch surrounded by over 3,000 unopened bottles of it.
You can see the poorly sealed bottles led to the evaporation of what they called the angel's share. One bottle was even empty from it. They told us that was the angel's favorite. In the bar area were the more visually interesting bottles. I found it ironic that the Scotty Dog's heads were held on with scotch tape. 